In today's video, I'm going to show you the new boundaries of our land. There is our house. And right up here is our new lot line pin. It goes right this way, so let's go check it out. We know the people that own the land right here, but I'm not 100% on where the lot line is right here. Uh, a farmer comes in and uh, cuts this for him once a year. This was cut last year, but it, other than that, it hasn't been cut in a long time. But this is our new field. I, I'm guessing we're going to have this as pasture for the horses, but I'd kind of like to involve it in the savanna stuff, but we'll see. There is a, a fence that runs all along this tree line right here that my daughter is itching to take out, so that'll probably happen pretty soon. If I remember right, the last time I walked this land in any kind of thorough fashion, there was a road that came up, a logging road, and there was some kind of opening in the fence. But that may be on, on this property right here, which is not ours. So let me jump back into our area got five foot grass here extreme bedding area yeah the deer come through here quite a bit we see them early in the morning and in the evening there is the fence it's an old school fence it's uh, four inch posts but I don't know how old it is it's an old style, but it doesn't appear to be all that old. It's got an electric wire, second one down from the top. So it's a cattle fence. I'm just checking, see what it looks like. Yeah, it's, it's quite overgrown down here. That is uh, a dare connector right there. Those are relatively new and it's it's connected on that tiny little tree right there. I'll just take a look at that. Because usually if it's of, of any age it's grown into the tree. Yeah it's started. You can, you can take it off but it's it's a bit grown into it. This is uh ash. Oh, and there's uh, markings on that tree. I'm guessing that is from our neighbor here. He's planted tons of trees of all different kinds where he's going to build his house. All right, I'm going to try to get over this without... Um, Ripping my package open here. Okay, success. Okay, this will absolutely have to be surveyed. It's an easy survey though. Everything's, you know, pretty straight lines. We could probably survey it ourselves just by walking with a compass, but, or with a, a phone app because I think you get reception here. So I'm pretty much walking on the line. I should be within 10 feet or so. This is just massive. This is probably the biggest birch I've seen. 
generally I don't see they they die and they're rotten before they're anywhere near this big that is a huge birch and this is a massive oak right here I'm not really sure what kind it is at least I think that's what the leaves are showing me yes that is definitely an oak but I'm not sh sure what kind this is the bark is similar to that of a black oak, but as we all know, I'm not the world's authority on that. I will be at some point. I'll be better than I am now, but it looks to be, it doesn't look like a red oak, but I'll have to come in here with binoculars tomorrow and see. Yeah, this would definitely be on our new land. This land has come up for purchase before, well, actually before that, we have offered to purchase this land and the owner declined. And that's, that's been, I th think probably twice. And then she had offered again, and we, we had just bought the land across from us, something like that. It's, it's kind of bounced back and forth, and we just never got a hold of it. And then she had called last week, and bada bing, bada boom, got the lawyer to draw something up, and it's ours. This is the head of the big ravine that runs down and it drops down it turns the corner to the right and gets really deep over there and drops down to the bottom unfortunately i have no idea if the ravine itself is on our land or if if our lot lines on this side it's just too hard to tell from the like the topo maps and stuff it's a big that's a grapevine right there a big one so the lat line comes down like in the ravine or possibly up here somewhere and then it runs in a straight line towards the back of our house at I don't know maybe 40 or 50 feet below the house on the hill we got here <coughs> little red mushroom this is another oak right here. I'm not sure what kind it is again. And then some dead ash, dead hickory. I don't believe there's any savanna trees in here, which would have been nice. Yeah, I really can't tell from the leaves, but from the bark, that's not a white oak. Uh, white oaks look like this here and I'm not sure if that's a white oak either but that's what the bark looks like but some of the maples look like this as well no it looks like no this is a hickory I think it's kind of hard to see the tops they're all kind of jumbled together up there this big fellow right here. See, there's tons of this in here. Uh, buckthorn. Just everywhere through here. And we need to get rid of that. This, we will savannaize this area. That's for damn sure. I mean, at bare minimum, get rid of all of this undergrowth. This is all invasive. All invasive junk. And there's a lot of these short dead trees. There's a massive tree right there, but that looks like a cottonwood. This looks like a cottonwood as well. It's huge. Yes, it is a cottonwood. Cottonwoods get so big. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if this tree is even on our land. It would be nice to get in here and find 
any of the markers, but they're getting old. A lot of times you'll find them on the ground or possibly a metal marker here and there, but generally no. Yes, I do believe this giant right here is a cottonwood. That's a big tree. Something fell out of it and is hang looped over that branch. See, the lot line's going to be a straight line, so it might curve in and out of this, or it might, the ravine might jog in and out of our land, or it might be all on our land. I just don't know. But they tried to draw the lot line about where the ravine is, according to the map. Yeah, this is just like solid buckthorn in areas and it'll rip you wide open if you don't watch out. When we first bought our land, the person who lived to the south of us back in the Milwaukee area bought the lot to the south of us here. So we've, we've always known who owned, owned this land, personally known her. But we moved away from there not too long after we bought the land. I got a real nice position in another town at a yacht company designing yachts. Okay, we got another giant cottonwood here. And this one looks like a maple. It's got a huge vine connected to it that's ivy. So I'll skip the stuff up that way. I'll come in here exploring. Maybe tomorrow if I can find the time. We are pretty busy with our day job as well. And today, my daughter had her last game of Junior League softball. I think that's what it's called, but it's her last day. And the way it turned out, she was on third base with one out and two outs happened while she was on third. So uh, the score was, they were one point behind at the time. So it was pretty dramatic. Sucked, but oh well, they did, they did really well. It's a very good team, a lot of nice kids. Yeah, lots of openings here. I think the deer spend a good bit of time in here. But the trees, it, yeah, it's really odd. This, I think, well, we got the fence up there, so I'm wondering why the trees are what they are. I'm going to have to go back and look at, I got some maps from 1939 that I've been looking at. This might have been... Um, just a few shade trees, these bigger ones, back in the 30s when the farms around here were developed. Well, actually, I, they were probably developed before that. That's just when they took the pictures. I think this area was had farms going back to the 1890s, possibly earlier. Okay, I, I know this area because our first, this is a logging road that goes, this goes and kind of connects with our road 
that's why our road is where our road is because there was a natural there's like a deer trail and those usually run on the most even surface so we followed the deer trail but so did the loggers and the logging road used to go right up to our where our house is up there and it's all grown in right now and there was a bunch of trees fell during a big storm one time i know that because this is uh this big tree right here was somewhere near our lot line i'm not sure if the lot line was on this side or on on the other side but we don't get down here very often so it really didn't matter to us but one it doesn't matter at all to us now because this is all ours but we need to know exactly where this center one is and we kind of know the guy across the ravine here he's had the he's had his land which is he's got a little clearing right in here and he had like a, a setup where he has I don't know like camping equipment stored from when he first used to come down here and it's still in the woods he's never come down here and picked it up so here's a big savanna tree but I don't know if it's on on our side or if it's on the other side and I can't really tell all the all the leaves down here are, oh there it is well it's it's at least a white oak it's some kind of oak but that logging road that I was just on goes right through there and then it crosses the ravine right here and we've used this before um, going after deer so uh, we really have to know where the line is down in here really fuzzy ah look at that I did not know that there's an old one it's it's going into the bark so that's pretty interesting if I go straight if I bring the compass down and go straight south I should run into another marker I'm not sure if this is accurate or not but I, I believe it is and there's that camping equipment I was talking about so that would put this big savanna tree on that property but we'll see this right here this big monster looks like it could be another black oak it's really tall oh, i just can't see the leaves it's all jumbled up up there but it's kind of looking like that's another cottonwood same with this one bummer we will connect connect our road with the remnants of our new road and possibly just put a trail going up towards the house make it like a figure eight or something just so you could get some decent horse time on fairly level ground the way my daughter rides now she goes around what is called the loop and she goes this way and then down it's you know 210 feet down to the bottom and then circles around and then comes back up again she goes down to the bottom of the hollow and then circles back okay i think the old lot line is somewhere in here not sure where it, where it is but this is about where I walked on the first leg of the tour last time. I walked right through here somewhere. So now this big one is on our land and it looks like it's a hickory. 
a pig nut hickory. Yeah, definitely does. So that one will stay. The, well, actually, shagbark hickory. I have a list of savanna trees and their ratings in a savanna that was compiled. Oh, I can't remember the guy's name. But he did a big survey of what was left of Wisconsin's oak savannas way back in the day and people use that when they're trying to restore savannas on their land and that's what I'm doing yeah I don't know if this thing will rebranch if it's cleared around it but we're gonna try the area where I'm currently clearing is just right through there it's not far away and then there's that one last big tree over there. I'll head towards that. But this right here is part of the road, I think. It's right in here somewhere. Yeah, I'm not sure how well this shows, but there's two of the big savanna trees right through there. It won't be long until you'll be able to see quite clearly the trees over there from this area. See, this is right here all these down trees here were from a big storm now well, probably the second third year we lived here or we had the land uh, straight line winds came in and blew a whole bu a whole bunch of trees down it followed the little road here and took down some trees There that monster is. I showed this in the in the first video. See how there's this is all the edge of the, the top of the hill here. You can see the rocks sticking out. <clears throat> Again, that'll show better once we get this invasive stuff out of here. Okay, there it is. Yeah, this is a beautiful tree. Look at the buttress on that thing. Big old blob. And still pretty hard to, to tell, but it looks uh, no, I guess it is. It's just, it's a white oak. Not a bur oak. We were hoping for some bur oak, but we'll see what's on the other side. I haven't really done any exploring in the center part of the far side of our land. Not long after we bought the the other lots, we had a huge rainfall that washed out our bottom road. So I got to fix that road so the gator gets across. And then we have to punch a road up around the back, right along our lot line, so it's accessible back there. Don't want to walk it. So I'm not sure of the acreage on this, but I will put an annotation on screen that shows the acreage. And there's the house. There's the barn. And that'll do it for this revised tour of the boundaries of our land here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and click the update button if you want to receive notifications when we post new videos. Have yourself a great day.